good. Welcome back to How to Magic. Oh, oh magic! I am your host, Evan Era, and today's episode, seven magic pranks for you to try. Be sure to stay tuned for the end of the video to see if you can solve this week's riddle. If you solve it, you can win a special prize. Without further ado, let's get into this week's video. Hit the thumbs up button and let's go. Sasha, would you mind signing this one? Oh, I can do that. <laughs> oh my god, what happened? I'm you back. That scared the heck out of me. All right, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal a secret. The secret to this prank is extremely simple, and I'll teach you how to set it up right now. Okay, here's what you need to set this up. You're going to need one of these party poppers. You pull the string and it pops confetti out the end. You can get these at any party supply store or most stores like Walmart, stuff like that. You're also going to need a pen that you can disassemble. So you're going to take it apart just like this and remove the little ink cartridge. And now we're going to disassemble the party popper. If you're a kid, you definitely want an adult's help with this. You're going to start by removing the little paper part from the bottom. You can see down inside here, there are all these little confetti rolls and we're going to pull these out. There's another little paper disc that we're going to remove. Once you remove the other little paper disc from inside, it will reveal the ignition charge. This is the thing that pops when you pull the string. So you're going to grab this with some needle nose pliers and remove it just like so. And you can set the rest aside. This is all you're going to need to set this up. Take this part, hide it in the pen's body. Put the cap on and bring the string up through like this. Now your last step is to take the string and run it up through the cap. Just like this. And then you're going to tie it in place. Now that you've got your knot tied on top, you can color it black so it blends in with the pen cap. And now you put the pen cap back on and your prank is ready to go. Just wait for somebody to try to use the pen and when they remove the cap, it will pull the string, release the party popper charge and give them a good scare. <laughs> okay, Evan, I have a strength challenge for you. We're gonna see if you're up to it. I saw this online. I don't believe you were strong enough to hold these. Okay. Yeah, palms out flat, okay. hold it. How long can you hold it? Uh, I don't know, it's pretty heavy though. You gotta keep it flat. To make sure you're keeping it flat, I'm gonna have you hold this. You have to keep it level. Okay, no I'm trying. No matter what you do. <laughs> oh. I told you I would get you back for that fan. Here's how to set this one up. You're gonna open up the Pringles can. You don't need any of the Pringles chips. You can take them out and set them aside, put them in a bag. You're just gonna need the empty can. Then you're also going to need a balloon. Might I recommend you use a Laugh at Life balloon, available now at evanairtv.com. Your next step is to fill the balloon up with water while it's inside the can. Once you've got it full, you're going to lay the balloon over the edge of the can and put the lid on. Now, all you have to do is wait for somebody to open up the lid and the prank will be deployed. Okay, Ava, I have a really cool science trick to show you so I've got a balloon here, Laugh at Life balloon. I've also got some Pop Rocks, popping candy. You've seen this stuff before. And I've got a bottle of soda. So check it out. We open this up. All right. Here, you want to do this? Packs of Pop Rocks here and dump them in the bottle of soda. Kind of seen this before? How uh, a balloon will. No? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, like, yeah, just dump them in the bottle Both of soda. Both at the same time? Yeah, if you can. It's not a uh, science trick, it's a prank. This is it. Oh. <laughs> You're cleaning it up. No. Okay, here's what you need to set this one up at home. You're going to need some Pop Rocks popping candy, a bottle of soda, and a balloon. Now we're gonna kind of make a funnel out of paper like this, put it right in the top of the bottle, then take the popping candy and dump it right in. You set this up to be a science experiment and then when they dump the Pop Rocks in, that happens. So uh, try it out at home and be ready to clean up a mess. Okay, here's a really crazy trick that you can do with a pen. Watch, I'm going to hold the pen right here at my cheek. So check it out, it's kind of dangerous. Oh, 
Okay, here's the secret to doing this at home. You're gonna need two pens that are exactly the same. Take the pens apart so that you just have the flat body of it like this, so it's safe to press against your face. So you've got the two identical pens and you're gonna line them up like this. This is a complete sight illusion, meaning it's all about perspective and how you hold the pen. So you're gonna line them up like this on either side of your cheeks. One pen is gonna start out pointed directly at the audience like this, and the other one is gonna be broad, sideways. And then as you move them across your face, you're gonna tilt these back and forth. You can see how the illusion is created. You're just moving this one forward and this one to the side. And it really creates a convincing illusion that the pen is going right through your face. Try it out at home. Okay, Ava, I have a really cool card trick to show you. So check this out, normal deck of cards here. Watch, so can you hold the card box? Okay, perfect. So you can see there's a bunch of different cards in the deck. It's not all the same card or anything mm -hmm. like that. Bunch of different cards, right? So I want you to select a card from inside. So when I ripple through them like that, just stick your finger in the deck and select any card you want. Right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, take a look at the card. Just stop there. All right, take a look. Show the camera. All right. Okay, put it back in the deck. Got it memorized. Perfect. All right, keep that card in your mind. I'm actually gonna have you select another card. So keep the first card in your mind, okay? Right there, okay, take a look. Show it to the camera, got it, okay, put it back. All right, now I'm actually gonna have you select a third card. Can you remember the first two? Okay, all right, we're gonna select one more, ready? Right there, all right, take a look. Show it to the camera. What's up? Okay, uh, all right, I'm actually gonna have you pick a fourth card. Can you remember the first three? You sure? Okay, all right, all right I'm gonna have you pick a fourth one, ready? Right there, okay, take a look. What's up? You got it? Okay, put it back in the deck. All right, I'm gonna have you pick one more card. This is the fifth card, all right, you can remember the first four? Yeah? Okay, all right, I'm gonna have you pick the fifth, ready? Which one, right there? What's up? <laughs> What's going on? Got it? Yes. All right, you got the card in your mind? The last card? All right, keep all five of them locked in your mind, all right? Now, you saw those were all different cards in the deck, right? Now, check this out. Look, if I just snap my fingers, they all change. Now, they were all the same. What? All the cards you drew were the same card? No. Okay, here is the secret to this card trick prank. This is actually a special deck of playing cards. It's called the Svengali deck. We have it available now at EvanAraTV.com, and as you can see, every other card in the deck is a king of clubs. But now what's unique about it is that every one of the kings is cut a little bit shorter than all the other cards. If you look really closely at the top of the deck, you can kind of see where every other card is a little bit shorter. That is what allows us to ripple through the cards like this, and it looks Looks like they're all different cards because you're only seeing the long cards. But when the spectator sticks their finger in, whatever card they stop on is going to be a king. So when Ava was selecting cards over and over, no matter where she stopped, she kept getting the same card. You can use this as a funny prank the way I did, or it's also a great way to force a card on someone for a magic trick. Stay tuned for the end of the video to win the Magic Svengali deck in this week's giveaway. And that is it for this video. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up button and share it with someone who you think might like it too. And it is giveaway time. Here is the riddle for this week. If you can solve it, you're going to win the giveaway. Leave your comment of the answer in the comment section down below. Here's the riddle. Turn me on my side and I'm everything. Then cut me in half and I'm nothing. What is it? Leave it in the comments down below and you might win this week's giveaway. Now here is the answer to last week's riddle. A lot of you got the answer right. It is a tissue. I'm giving away seven Spengali decks and magic appearing flower wands to lucky comments in the comment section down below. Both of these products are available now at EvanerraTV.com. Every magician needs a magic wand. They're officially branded how-to magic Evanera TV products now too. So head over to EvanerraTV.com. We have a lot of really cool magic tricks and pranks. Go check them out. And it's time to announce the giveaway winners from our last how-to magic video. The winners are magically appearing on the screen right here. Congratulations to everyone who won that giveaway. If you won, be sure to send your full mailing address to this email address on the screen to claim your prize. Also, go follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Snapchat, TikTok, Facebook, and all the other social media platforms. I'm everywhere. The links for those are in the description as well. Until next time, remember that anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life. Love you guys.